In this lecture, we will discuss about the functional form specification. We will then discuss some specification test. We will discuss Ramsey's regression specification error test, rainbow test, wall test, and likelihood ratio test. In this lecture, we will discuss functional form misspecification. Adapting an incorrect functional form basically implies we are uh, assuming some kind of relationship which is not specifically linear. Because in the regression analysis we estimate a linear model yi equal to beta plus beta 2 x 2 i plus beta 3 x 3 i plus u i. But suppose the true model is, a, is of a log linear type that is log of yi equal to b1 plus beta 2 log x2 i plus b3 log x3 i plus u i. Then we are committing misspecification and the type of misspecification arises because we estimate the wrong functional form. So what we need? We have to test for the appearance of misspecification. Mm, existing misspecification. Now, misspecification test generally occurs when we omit relevant variable or we include an irrelevant variable or we use an incorrect functional form. In most circumstances, we do not know what the true model is. How can we determine the true model? Therefore, whether the model we estimate is correctly specified. So, we have to carry out some preliminary analysis that is informal test. Variable based on economic theory if possible. So, you have to select the variable based on economic theory. Observe the sign and significance of the coefficient. What happens when an additional variable is added or deleted? Does adjusted R square increase when more variables are added? Lo also look at the pattern of the residual. If there are noticeable pattern, then it is possible that model has a misspecification type. So, these are uh, some informal tests based on preliminary analysis, the um, extent of adjusted R square, pattern of residual, etc. Now, we have also some kind of formal test like Ramsey uh, regression specification error test or Ramsey's reset test. So, this is some kind of a formal test of misspecification. And it uses proxy variable and reset test based on the predicted value of the dependent variable y. Now, let us consider some example. Suppose we estimate the following model yi equal to b1 plus beta 2x 2i plus vi and we want to test for misspecification. The reset test basically uses the predicted value of yi that is yi hat equal to b1 hat plus b2 hat x2y. Now uh, let us perform the reset test, Ramsey's reset test. First regress y on the known explanatory variable. That is regress yi uh, as yi equal to b1 plus beta b2 x2i plus vi and hence obtain the predicted values yi hat. Now in the next step regress y on x and the included uh, and also include the predicted value of yi yi hat and also the power of yi hat. So, let us regress yi equal to b1 plus b2 x2i plus b2 b3 yi hat square plus b4 yi hat cube 
plus b5 y i hat 4 etc along with the error term now the null and alternative hypothesis are h0 b3 b4 b5 are 0 and if this is so this implies no omitted variable in y and y can be expressed as b1 plus b2x Alternative hypothesis is that h1 and there are omitted variable in y equal to b1 plus b2x and if the significance level is low you can reject the null that beta 3 beta 3 equal to beta 4 equal to beta 4 uh, 5 equal to 0 and if this is so then there is evidence of an omitted variable. Now, uh, in the next step, perform an F test on the significance of the additional variable F, which is defined as RSS R minus RSS U divided by R, whole divided by RSS U divided by N minus K, where RSS R shows the residual sum of square for the restricted model and RSS U shows the uh, residual sum of square for the unrestricted model and R is, is the number of restriction available into the system. If additional variable is significant, evidence of misspecification. So, uh, what we find that if additional variables are significant, then we claim that there is some evidence of misspecification. Now, um, suppose you have the case y equal to x1 b1 plus x2 b2 plus e, where x1 is n cross k and which is non-stochastic and, ob uh, ob and observable but x2 is not observable the hypothesis to be tested is that b2 equal to 0 so you cannot include x2 simply because of the fact that x2 is not observable and we want to test whether this has resulted any kind of misspecification or not now since x2 is unobservable x2 b2 has to be replaced by zc where Z is a n cross p set of variable, uh, non-stochastic uh, test variable and C is the coefficient of the corresponding vector of coefficient and if we do so, we get the model y equal to x1 b1 plus zc plus e and under h0 b2 equal to 0 and this basically implies expectation of estimated value of c is equal to 0. Thus, the test procedure can be carried out with the help of c hat. Now, let us note the following. Reset test is easy to apply but cannot tell us the reason behind misspecification that is omitted variable or the functional form. Now another suitable test is the rainbow test. So a, more, a somewhat different approach to the problem of testing the hypothesis that no relevant explanatory variable have been omitted from the regression equation is done by Woods who developed the so called rainbow test. Now let us start with the specification y equal to x1 b1 plus x2 b2 plus e where x1 is the n cross k and which is non-stochastic and observable, x2 is unobservable and the hypothesis to be tested h0 b2 equal to 0. Now test procedure is based on comparing two estimates of the variance of the regression distribution both of which are unbiased under H0 and biased under H1. Now test procedure basically involves two, two least square. The first one based on all the observation and second one based on only the middle half of the observation. The idea of the test is that If the null hypothesis is true, both the estimated line will fit the data equally well. On the other hand, if the alternative hypothesis is true, then the estimated regression line based on middle part of the observation will tend to fit the data considerably better than the line based on all the observation. 
Now let us denote SSE as the error sum of square based on all the observation. Similarly, SSED is the error sum of square based on the middle part of the observation that is m equal to n by 2 number of observation. Now under H0 since both the regression line fits the data well, expectation of SSE by n minus e is equal to expectation of SSED by m minus k and which is exactly equal to sigma e square. But under H1, expected value of SSE by n minus k, which is greater than expected value of SSED by m minus k, which is greater than sigma e square. This is because of the fact under H1, the uh, regression consisting of the middle part of the observation fits the data equally, fits the data well. So, SSEE can be viewed as the restricted sum of square because all the observation are forced to fit a straight line. But SSED can be viewed as an unrestricted sum of square because only a part of the observation are forced to fit a straight line. Now, let us denote the stress statistics as F which is defined as F1 by F2. And that follows a F distribution with n minus m and m minus k degrees of freedom where F1 is equal to SSE by SSED by n minus m and F2 equal to SSED by m minus k. It can be shown that rainbow test is a member of preset family of the test with the variables red as discussed while explaining reset included to represent the missing variable being represented by a set of dummy variable corresponding to each of the observation not included in the middle part. That is why if we um, in, represent z variable by a dummy variable corresponding to each of the observation not included in the middle part uh, of the regression, then we can see that the Reset test and rainbow test will be identical. Now let us also discuss some other tests like Lagrange multiplier test, wall test, likelihood ratio test. Lagrange multiplier test. Here, uh, we estimate the restricted form of the model and compute the residual EI. Then, we regress EI on the all regression. Now, the quantity NR square will be a chi square distribution with m degrees of freedom, where m is the number of restriction. Now, if NR square exceeds the critical value, we reject the restricted version of the model. Now the wall test starts with the alternative hypothesis that is the uh, unrestricted model and asks whether the null that is the restricted model should be preferred. The likelihood ratio test on the other hand is a direct comparison of the two hypotheses. So in the summary. Um, we have started to look at the regression model which violate classical assumption and outline the theoretical and practical consequences of underfitting and overfitting regression models and choosing the incorrect functional form. We have also outlined a number of test procedure for detecting the possible classification error. In this lecture, we have discussed about functional form misspecification certain type of pre-specification test like Ramsey's regression error specification test, rainbow test, wall test and likelihood ratio test.